How's it going guys? So today we have here this uh, ghetto Motorola phone I'm going to be scrapping. Um, basically most of the time these phones have little screws in the corners that you can easily unscrew with uh, pliers and a mini screw kit. However this one has some kind of tiny allen wrench screws I could not get open with a normal miniaturized screwdriver. So the way I got in is basically you go in through one of these holes where there's a jack for the, or the input and sneak pliers in there and then once they're deep in there spread them open and it'll pop the frame outside the phone and you have you're always gonna have a couple screws usually six these phones are so well put together in comparison to our new phones not well put together just durability wise they last and they're a lot they'd last if you drop them and throw them around you can't even smash them so the point of doing this is because we want gold. We want free gold. Now, am I going to get a ton of free gold out of here? No. Uh, this, let me see if you can focus. This is about um, two phones, three phones with the gold um, in there. Uh, it's probably too bright. Let me turn this down. There we go. So, that's all the. Uh, it's gold from about two phones. It's all gold-plated stuff. Some of it uh, is solid gold. It depends on how old the stuff is and where you're getting it from. Uh, cell phones need gold. Um, like I just found this piece right there. As it, <laughs> the phone was flying apart, um, that little piece came out. So to show you some gold-plated stuff here, uh, there's always a nice big gold piece by the antennas. That right there is uh, that piece. So I'm definitely going to snag that off. This piece right here, you got some gold. Alright, so now with the help of a knife and these pliers, I took the rest of the uh, case off and I wanted to show you guys. So we are going to be extracting this piece. Just get some pliers and yank it off. There's little gold plated prongs there. These are cool. They're really nice and goldy. And then this big piece right here, gold plated piece, real big one. There's always pieces by the antennas. And of course, this is real fun. I don't usually work in this space, I'm just doing this for the video. But there we took that piece off. Um, let me see, is the light too? I have to keep adjusting the light. I want you guys to be able to see, but sometimes it's too bright. Now, look at the board. So we took a piece off here and here. There's another gold piece here. <clears throat> um, really nice looking gold piece right here. Uh, and this is gold plated here. So we have some pieces. And on the other side, we have gold here. Um, just gold all over it. So you basically want to take these pieces off, you guys, and then I even saved the boards, uh, but this is how you basically scrap a cell phone. So, and it is messy, plastic and things fly apart, so, you know, do it somewhere where you can see things that are going to fly apart. You might be a good idea to have goggles on, you're going to be doing this, but you can extract little gold plated pieces. I'll be doing a video soon also about how to extract gold out of a laptop computer um, because I have been doing that lately and it's actually pretty fun and it's easier than cell phones because everything on laptops unscrews easily and it's pretty consistently screws and not these you know weird uh, mini allen wrench type of screw things that I don't have a tool for. Um, the screen, some people recommend saving the screens, I have a little pile of them. Um, I don't really know what that's, they say they're going to trade the indium in it, for, I don't know, I just, I'm after the gold, you guys, and I'm just taking it because I have a friend who is a goldsmith, and once I have enough, he will be able to, uh, purify this and melt it into whatever I ask him for, so, it's good if you are going to scrap, make sure you find a goldsmith friend.